<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft pro. excited for this one yeah, so looking forward uh, to trying this yeah uh we did the can a month or so ago as i'm sure a lot of you will know um and here at Portis beer reviews it's beer o'clock and we're excited um it does say the ideal serving temperature is four degrees on beer Hawk's website by the way it's 34 pound 90 for the keg uh, you get five pound back. You get your fifteen percent on triple ordering. Basically, we worked it out. It's under two pound fifty a pint. So that's not a lot for draft beer, is it? That's, with that's bits, good value. Yeah, yeah, with your bits taken in. As I said, five point two percent ABV. Not going to kill you off, but it packs a little bit of a punch. So Palm Belgian Amber Ale. Yep, mm. it is indeed. So yeah, as I said, we did the. Um, the cans, um, yeah. oh, just like, very different, very different, definitely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, well and truly. Right, I've got to pour from down here because we've got them loaded up over there with other stuff. So we're on the, yeah. I'm on the, you know, <laughs> exercise people, here we go. I need a bit, don't I? He's in, yeah, ooh. Right, let's just get the, let's get the, pour the mould a bit out. Yeah. If I remember, this was quite unique tasting. I haven't tried anything that was um, similar to this before. It was a little while ago that we reviewed the can, so. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago, about six weeks. Right, there's that. If you want to show them that, you oh, get a picture. Okay. Look at that for a first pour. So, yeah, living up to its name, it is amber in colour. And it's it's got a nice bit of carbonation there. And it's quite clear, not really hazy. Um, Hey, let's do this picture. Yeah, let's get a picture. So I don't get done for pinching someone's picture. I'll get out of the way. There we go. So, here we go. Right, you're going to go on the... Yeah, let's have a sniff. It's quite exciting though, because it's wow. another new one. Yeah, this has got a really, really nice, sweet, malty kind of smell to it. Picking up hints of fruit there. Um, yeah, it's, it's sort of like a caramelly kind of smell. Mm. Yeah, that smells good. Can't be a lot more I can get out of that. I think <laughs> summed it all up. Oh. <laughs> At least I didn't wear it on the end of the day. Yeah, you're like your sweet malts. <laughs> mm. Caramel, toffee, maybe. And yeah, because it was pear I tasted in the last one, wasn't it? So, mm, we will see. I'm sure it was pear. I should have gone back on the video. I'm sure I remember gabbling on about pear and you looking at me like I was a lunatic. Mm, yeah. It starts off on a really nice, soft, sweet maltiness that is very much like caramel. Maybe a, a kind of bit of honey taste in there too. Ooh. There's a little bit of fruit there. Yep. And I'm not going to go, you end up being pear. It is something a little bit sweeter, almost like um, yeah, no, banana or or apricot or something like that. It's got that sweet I'm kind of fruit. I'm not going pear on this one. This is totally different to the can. Um, and yeah, but balancing off that sweetness is a really nice hoppy ending to this. It's not like an IPA hoppy ending. It's not. 
it's not in your face, it's quite subtle, but it does balance off that sweetness. Yeah, this is very smooth. Yeah, it is smooth. The carbonation is light, just enough to move the flavours around your mouth. I mean, we had the can a couple of times, didn't we? And we were mm. very undecided. I mean, it didn't help that the second time we had the can, we'd had a few prior to that. We did a review, I was very unsure, and I, I remember saying that um, this is one that you could go with a bit further. Um, that's absolutely lovely. It's it's crisp, it's clean, and it's really smooth. There's a creamy element yeah, there as is. well in there. I was just about to pick up on that. It's a really smooth drink that's flowing nice and creamy through your, through, through your mouth. Um, delivering those flavours, which are really working well together. Yeah, it's like... I like that. I'm, I'm really kind of picking up on a honey kind of taste. And a fruity taste. Mm. I like you say, more of a sweet fruit than pear. Yeah. That slight, slight bitterness kind of rounds it off nicely. And it's got, I was um, pointed out to me by someone else, mm. that it's going more towards a pilsner. Now I can go with mm. that, and I see exactly yeah. what they're saying. I, t I do that see their logic on that actually. Yeah. Respects, but it's so smooth, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's this is very drinkable. this is going to flow, and I feel this is going to be a lot more popular. There's already quite a lot of hype I've been seeing in the in the Facebook groups, which I was surprised, if I'm honest, for something mm -hmm. that wasn't that well known. Yeah. Well, I didn't think so in a way. I mean, I'm not been that up with amber owls but this is it's not like an owl is it it's no it's not it's and at 5.2 it's it's not going to blow your head off either but it's still got enough alcohol in there to have a little bit of a kick to it it's a grower as well isn't mm. it? i think it's one of them the more you drink the more you're going to get into yeah it is quite <laughs> complex it's not just like a boring lager, as people would call it. There's no yeah. way. You, you've got um, quite a few different flavours going on there, and they work well together. They actually complement each other. Yeah, and it's, it's, as I say... I do like that honey kind of taste that I'm picking up in there. Could go yeah. with honey. It's, yeah, it's, that is nice. It's so smooth. As I say, straight away, as soon as I tried it, I can remember when I first tried the can, and I wasn't sure... I didn't want to say, oh, well, I don't like this, when I don't know if I don't like this, because I haven't had enough. And as I've said before, sometimes in a review, there's two of us drinking it, you don't even get enough yeah. to, like, to go with it. I'm going to pour a little bit more in there. More, just to... Yeah, because sometimes, some, the more you're drinking, uh, the more some of the flavours become more predominant. I've done a special. Yeah, you have indeed. But yeah, when you're drinking 330 mil, I think that glass is, isn't it? Half a pint, I think, does it say? To the line, yeah. So you're drinking about 300 mil. It is hard to gauge everything, especially on something that you're not familiar with. Yeah. Especially when, when there's two of you, it can help because you're getting two opinions. But I said before, I've changed my mind and I've already done the review and I'm like, ah. So I do try and, and think now, well, maybe that's for doing it for a year. It kind of teaches you that, doesn't it? But it is, it's so smooth as well, isn't it? You're right, that definitely is a grower. Yeah. Those flavours are really... Coming out they're, more. They're coming out more, yeah. The more I'm drinking of that, the more of those lovely caramel notes are coming out. Fruitiness. Shall I go more toffee? Caramel, but I normally say caramel, don't I? Yeah, that is... It's very pleasant. Yeah. I don't think they're going to have problems shifting these, do you? No. I mean, there's a good deal as well. Um, with the two, with the pack where you get the glass. Mm. As well, which is quite reasonably priced, I think. Yeah. But yeah, um, that's what I said. Before you're jumping around with numbers, try a little bit more just to make sure you don't think after. Oh. I mean, like I say, another excellent, um, another excellent addition to an already great range, you know? Yeah. On the days when the others are getting strong bow dark fruits, then, you know, we're getting something different. Something with a bit of power in it. Not that everything has to have power. I mean, Orchard Pig, it's only 4.5. But that, you'd never know 
it's a five odd percenter, you know, that's yeah. stronger than like standard Cronenberg. Mm. So yeah, um, I've got no problems recommending this. It really is a very pleasant, very refreshing drinkable drink. It is, as I say, mm. it's creamy, it's smooth. It has that, that element of sweetness and fruitiness, but it isn't overpowering. It really is balanced off nicely. It's a sort of more bitter, hoppy finish. Yeah, but it's got that that kind of sweet malty backbone, which yeah. is carrying through. So when everything else is hitting you, it's a really decent drink. I'm really mm -hmm. pleasantly surprised. I didn't see this coming, to be honest. As I say... You weren't looking forward to this particularly after trying the can, were you? I wasn't sure. And I said I'll try anything. Like, you know, I'm the same bloke that a year and a half ago... Wouldn't touch an IPA. Wouldn't touch an IPA. If you paid him. <laughs> so there you go. Um, yeah, I, I... I sort of panicked because I always used to think that an amber ale was like a brown ale. And it's nothing like yeah, a brown ale. Yeah, it's owl. nothing like that at all. At all. It's not quite a lot of pills now because it's got more going on yeah. and you haven't got such that bang finish. You know with a pilsner, you get your end bit, didn't you? You Which get is, quite, a, quite a hoppy finish. Yeah, quite a hoppy, dry finish. Yeah. Although you are getting along the lines with that, it's more It's just different. enough to balance out the fruitiness. It isn't overly bitter. Yeah, I will, yeah, as I say, we'll do it at some point. We've got some cans here. Yeah, we've got some left. Can. Um, but I, going back from what I remember, that is much better than can. We'll do it side by side yeah. and see how they turn out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to look forward to drinking some more of So this. I'm going on a yes, and I'm definitely going to be drinking some more of it. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Um, look at that. <laughs> it really is very pleasant. It's well worth the money. Um, people who are buying this, I, they're going to really enjoy it. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. It's a definite, so, and it's a solid 8 out of 10. Yeah. As I say, pleasantly surprised because mm. I wasn't sure and I wasn't sure at all. But as soon as I had that first sip, I thought, that's smooth. Yeah. The creaminess of it. Yeah. As we said, it's quite in depth. I don't think the can is on par at all, if I'm honest. Yeah, but, if I'm remembering rightly, this does taste better than the can, but. I think they're quite you different. You know, we'll do it again to refresh our memories and, and, and see how they compare with each other. I think they're really quite different. But no, nothing wrong with a can, but it's not close yeah. if i recall as i say i wasn't really sure so we're both on eights out of ten we're both on yeses yes. uh thank you to beer Oak and ab bed for again bringing us yet another winner Great release yeah you know they keep coming um apparently we got a lager next um mm. yeah a good lager i don't know what it is but hopefully i'll try and find out <laughs> And um, yeah, onwards and upwards, shall we say. Uh, thanks for watching. Do feel free to like, subscribe. And you should subscribe and join the competition that's running throughout the next week to win a well, free it's not really a competition, is it? It's, it? it's a giveaway for people who subscribe to the channel. Yeah, we hit 2,000. <laughs> I never thought we would. So it's literally as simple as commenting on that particular video. You'll get a number. And sometime next week we're going to do uh, it. Next Friday because we're away. Do a, a random number generator. We're away in Chelsea next week. So yeah. we'll do it when we get back. We'll do a live next Friday night or something. Early evening. So, what can we say? Thank, Thank you, you all for, for all your support <laughs> and everything. And bonjour. <laughs>